Hey guys, I um, have recently changed my uh, YouTube name to Epically Indian. I think it's funny, and uh, because I'm anything but epic, but uh, yeah, I think it's funny. Today, um, since I haven't been able to get out in the bush because uh, one thing or another, just being busy around the house, I uh, am going to cook some elk heart. So I'm um, just going to pressure cook it because it's late in the day and uh, I want to share that with you. So so stay tuned. Okay, so I have my elk heart laid out on the, uh, on the cutting board and I'm just sprinkling it with salt. And I want to, uh, I want that salt to get right into the, uh, the flesh of the heart. And I'm using quite a bit of salt. But I'm just going to let that salt sit on there for... About half an hour maybe 45 minutes and uh, before I do anything else with it so there it is salted up I'll add some more uh, ingredients as uh, as I go through the process doesn't that look delicious already just makes me want to bite into it I should let you know that I've salted both sides both sides of this uh, elk heart so marinades coming in from bottom and the top and uh, it's going to be delicious. Okay, so I have a, uh, I'm just going to use half of a large onion out of the, of the onion and place it in the fridge. Only because the heart is going to sit on top of I never want to look at a house in the dark I never want to lock you down I know you're not mine it's just my turn but we can still have fun now garlic got to have garlic so much flavor to this. You told me you don't really do so nice. You trust me. Consider your message received. You said you couldn't take this too seriously. I must admit I was relieved. Because I never want to play happy families with you. But I like having Delicious. you around. I'm fully aware this is a flesh in the pan. But we can still have fun for now. So you just slice up your garlic. So when you stop paying so much, so here's some other ingredients that I'm gonna use. This is don't worry, I get it. Woodland. I don't read French very well, so I will go for the English side. It's liquid smoke, woodland natural hickory liquid smoke flavor. I know you're not mine. It's just my turn. Really it does add a nice flavor and kind of. No, I never want to play happy families with you, but like having you around. all the time. And then of course some uh, Western family Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, we can still have fun now. Oh, we can still have fun I think I'm pronouncing that right. Without my accent getting too in the way. All right. So we have those ingredients. The other ingredients I'm going to need some thyme, um, yep, sage, ground sage, some pepper, and of course, if I can find it, here we go. You gotta have a bay leaf in there. And, and then I'll put all these together in the, the appropriate amounts and uh, gonna have a pretty nice meal. So I hope you like it. Okay, I like to measure things out a little bit with my trusty spoon. So for that much heart, about 
maybe maybe a third of a teaspoon of pepper. Up some sage. Come on, man. There we go. So that's about a teaspoon of sage. That's really going to add a nice flavor. And then thyme. About half of that. Okay. And of course, I have my bay leaves right there. And that's all going to be sprinkled in amongst the meat and then and then put into the uh, pressure cooker. Now, if you do not have an instant pot, I highly recommend that you get one. My mother and father-in-law got us this and it is so wonderful. It cuts everything into quarters as far as time. So with this, usually I would, would have started this meal early this afternoon. It's getting late in the afternoon and uh, you know I still have lots of time to, to cook with this thing. I've, uh, I'll cook it for probably 25 minutes. I've never actually cooked this meal in, in, in a pressure cooker before or an instant pot and uh, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. I introduced uh, um, fire roasted heart to my friends uh, a couple of hunting seasons ago and they absolutely loved it just having that nice smoke flavor and uh, the roast heart right beside the uh, fire right beside the kill it was uh yeah it was really quite a quite an experience and that's something i like to do um yeah just nothing better than that fresh fresh roast heart right there mm, delicious roast liver on an open fire oh my god it's just that's a stuff that really really sticks with you like it's a flavor that um you don't get at home and that's part of the reason i'm sticking this uh, hickory smoke in just to have a hint of that just to bring me back to that moment so i hope you guys are enjoying this so far we'll let this uh we'll let this heart uh, marinate in the salt for a little while longer and uh We'll get this in the pot. Well, like I said, I uh, never cook a heart in a pressure cooker. I'd usually cook it for about four hours. So um, I was thinking maybe 25 minutes initially. But I did the Indian thing and I looked up Google. And Google told me 75 minutes. So if you can hear that, that sounds delicious, doesn't it? That's the heart searing Look at that. Now the thing about searing is you want to just let it sit and do its job. It's sear until the uh, meat or whatever part, in this case, is more easily removed from the bottom of the pan. Because if you try to remove it too soon, it gets like it's still sticking to the pan and you start uh, getting frustrated and maybe ripping some flesh off so it usually takes about four minutes uh, on each side and um, it should uh, come off there quite easily and you sear at a fairly high heat in instant pot the setting is saute so it does not look good oh it's gonna Holy cow, it's already smelling so delicious and I haven't even added any of the ingredients to it other than the salt. So, hopefully, hopefully you can see that. And it's going to quite easily. It's a nice looking piece a part that's been seared and that'll show up in the finished product well I'm gonna call that seared so let's just pull that out 
Oh yes, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. That, see that piece right there? That is the artery. That is a delicacy. Mm, look at that. I'm looking forward to getting my teeth into that. Just biting into it really, really feels good. And you know what? You know, you can, uh, you can trim all the outer part of the hard off if you want, but uh, I prefer just to leave it the way nature has it and just add all those flavors, the fat and all. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, so I'll put that off to the side and we shall saute our onions and our garlic. I'll need a wood spoon. You might have one handy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I do. And uh, saute your onions and everything before you do that. So you get that nice flavor. You get the char flavor of the, of the, uh, of the meat that you just fried in there. You get the nice char flavor of the onions and the garlic. And all of that just goes right into the, into the mixes into the broth when you uh, and you scrape the bottom of the pot and it's just so good. Not supposed to move that, but I want to uh, get in the frame and, and just say it's starting to smell like it's getting close to uh, burning, but it's not. So I want to add the uh, broth. And I don't have any beef broth, so I'm just going to use some chicken broth. Nice. Has a nice flavor. Trusted wood spoon so I don't damage the bottom. And, uh, just gonna dump that in there. and scrape the bottom, just get that uh, get that char off. I might add another half a cup in here. Once I get this uh, get this bottom scraped out, let me just show you. What I mean. so. Hope you can see that okay. It's steaming up too much. Maybe it's too steamed. Oh yeah, that steamed up nicely, but it cleared off nicely. So, but that's all you have to do is just scrape all that char off the bottom. And that's just going to add, that'll add a really nice flavor. I'm just looking at the amount of what, uh, fluid I have in there, I'm going to put another half a cup of chicken broth in. Now that I have my uh, liquids in there, I'm going to go ahead and place my part right on top of those onions. And garlic. And the char. I have left, that can all go back in there too. It's all going to add up to a beautiful meal. So, and of course I have my other spices, my bay leaves, I got my thyme, sage, and pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle that about. Just distribute it over top of that meat nicely and so now I'm just cleaning the edge so I get a nice seal on that. Hi son. Hey. It was good, thanks. I'm just cooking this in Elkhart, excuse me. And Simply put that on there. It's so, something like that. 
not quite like that. There is a way that this fits on nicely, and it helps if you have it on the right way. Lock that in place. You hit your, I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna hit meat and stew, and I'm gonna put it on for 75 minutes, which is an hour and 15 minutes. There we go. One hour and 15 minutes. And make sure that my vent is closed. Oh, sorry. Before I even get going, I forgot a couple of ingredients. Worcestershire sauce. And don't need too much of this. About a teaspoon. Teaspoon of smoke in there too. Smoke liquid. Yeah, you can. Mm, that's so good. Now we're ready for the lid. Make sure that's closed. Move that off to the side. And I might even make some uh, bannock, bannock, something that we call eat some dill. Try saying that, dill, eat some dill. Easy, eh? Dinner's cooking, and one of the things I really don't like is um, dirty dishes. So I'm gonna do the dishes while I'm waiting, and. Uh, You're welcome to join me. You're welcome to help me if you want. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> you're not gonna help? Oh, you're back. I was just thinking about, uh, about my father. He was a great provider. And, uh, When I was a young uh, adolescent, maybe 14, 15 years old, and uh, he'd say, son, you're not a complete man unless you know how to take care of yourself in every way. So, let's get where you know how to sew, you know how to clean, wash your own clothes, and you gotta know how to cook. And I said, well, dad, so I think I'm uh, gonna find a wife that knows how to do all that. And his response was so accurate. He says, son, you have no control of your heart. You might fall in love with a lazy woman. And this goes for the girls too. You got to know how to take care of yourself because you have no control of your heart. You might fall in love with a lazy man. So that's good advice. Okay, I'll call you back when I'm uh, cooking. You guys take a break. I got this. Bake. And put it down to 300. And start. Voila, technology. Okay guys, let's make some, eat some big. The flour. Baking powder. Salt. And we'll need some water. So, I have two mugs the flour in this bowl. Take your baking powder. Two generous, uh, two generous scoops of uh, baking soda. A dash, maybe two dashes. 
uh, salt to activate the baking powder and I forgot an ingredient and it is sugar. So with the sugar quantity, I like to use one tablespoon of sugar every <laughs> half a cup of flour. Now that might seem like a lot, but it's very tasty, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Next step, mix that around. Just that simple. Careful not to reset that instant pot. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, that's turning into a good groceries. I am just going to make a little divot in the center of all that. Like so, that's where my water is going. Okay, so you're going to need about half the amount of flour in there. I'm going to start with less and I can always add more but you can't take any out. So mix it all around nice consistency. Oh that's looking good. Oh, oh, oh. You bet your whoops are as good version right there. Okay. So this is where you get your hands in there. And I have washed my hands, don't worry. ready for us. Just about, just about beat the oven. It's calling. It's calling for us now. And what I do is I'll take and I form that around the bowl. And that's going to fit in the pan as one piece. And I will take my finger and I'll just dig a hole all the way through the dough into the center. Like that. Okay, I'm just gonna use some regular uh, vegetable oil. Maybe a tablespoon or so. And just rub that around. Just like that. I'm trying to hurry because I think the oven might be a little bit impatient. Waiting, just anticipating having this in the oven. Oh my goodness. So good. Just take your heat and put it in your pan. Let's put it in the oven. Oh, for that heat. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now it's cooking. That for about half an hour. Our timer. Minutes. Three, zero minutes. Don't forget to hit start. Alright, now that we've washed our potatoes, we can go ahead and slice them up. About a centimeter or so. an hour at uh, 300 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown that 
and uh, leave it in just a little bit longer. So we brown it and we hit uh, broil. And then we'll hit start and I'll keep my eye on it because it's easy to uh, forget about. Good, doesn't it? I think that's good enough. All right, well, let's get the rest of the meal on. Have some carrots. and strain all your goodies out so you can make a nice sauce out of that. Starch nice and suspended in all that water. Mm. 
need some dip. Jeez, guys, I'm sorry about that. My phone died right while I was cutting the bread. Dinner was delicious, by the way. And uh, I'll show you what we're having for dessert. My son made it uh, last night. So have a look at this. I'm looking forward to sinking my teeth into it. Well, I'm going to cut into this and, uh, you know, getting pie out of a pie plate is not my forte, but this looks delicious. My son really enjoyed making this last night. And for those of you that are wondering, this is his graduation year. He is 17. Yeah, let's see if I can pull this off. Oh, you betcha. You betcha, son. Delicious. I can hear my water's boiling, so. Something special for my dearly beloved. Oh my goodness, I love that woman so much. Oh. Well, like I said, you guys, I'm sorry I didn't, uh, my battery died, but uh, now we're having dessert. It's going to be good, honey. What do you guys think of that meal? Oh, it was, it was bad. It's cute. Yeah, that's cooked perfectly. Yeah. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. Raging review from those who matter. Hey, who's going to do the dishes? Did you come to help? Thank you. Well, it was a funny evening. Nice to be able to cook a meal for your family. Well, I sure hope you guys enjoyed that uh, preparation of that meal and the wonderful dessert. Um, I'm just curious, well, do you eat heart? Do you eat liver? Do you eat tongue? Do you eat all those uh, little tidbits of the animal has to offer? And um, will you try this recipe? I think it's delicious. I'm really, really impressed with that uh, Instant Pot. I think that was a really great invention. And um, so with that, let's conclude that video. Oh, by the way, that Elkhart uh, is the Elkhart that, um, that uh, Kevin shot on our elk hunting trip and uh, Kevin, Jason and I packed that out. <laughs> Kevin just shot an elk. The first elk. I gotta tell ya. I think I'm good luck for ya. I think so. Hey, I was gonna go the other way. I know. It's a lot. They're definitely not bugling, but uh, See your knees. They were shaking pretty good a little while ago. 30, 40 seconds ago, his knees would look like they were going to give out. <laughs> That's awesome. Ooh. Congratulations, man. Thanks. So I want to say thank you to you guys again for
for uh, for the generosity and uh, just being just being my friends. You know, it's uh, it's a great feeling having good friends. So with that, be good, be safe, and be kind. Get the shot.